Hey love, so today's video is going to be another lace front. This is by the company called Ulair. And in the package you do get a wig net and of course the wig. So this is a lace frontal, 24 inches. It is a body wave. I do believe that here's Indian Remy. I'll list all of the info below. I did sew an elastic band in it. And as you guys can see, the tracks are sewn on the outside because it is a lace frontal. So these are the things that I'm gonna be using because we are going to tape it down. So the first thing you're gonna need is some tweezers just to um, apply or remove the tape, some scissors, and of course the super tape. Super tape is one of my favorites, trusted hold, and of course some top guard. This is just a barrier for your skin. It also applies really thin and also allows your wig to sit. Some clips, a comb, some glue, some styling mousse, and of course some hairspray. I mean those are optional. And of course some wipes to clean your hairline. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is, well, you see I do have a stocking cap on so you'll definitely need a stocking cap. I'm going to take my baby wipe and I'm just going to clean the hairline area. Some people use alcohol, rubbing alcohol. You really don't have to do that as long as you get any type of makeup or dirt off of your hairline. This is what I used to use back in 2010 and 11. This is Top Guard. This is a skin protectant and it's also on a barrier. It also does go um, on very thin so you want to allow this to apply and dry for like within two minutes. This also helps your units stay on meaning with glue or tape. So if you use this, your units will stay on even longer. So as this sits and dries on my forehead, it's just like about one to two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off. So as you see, it's dry. It does leave a little sheen to it, but it is dry. And it also allows, like I said, a barrier for your skin. So I'm going to be using the Super Tape Tape. This is a double-sided tape adhesive, and I did use these back in 2010 up until 2012. And they do come longer strips, but on hand, this is what I had left. I do have loads of tape, but seems like Super Tape was always my favorite. It does just hold really well. So what I'm gonna do is take the tape, and you wanna take the side that has the name on it and place that down first. And with me, I just go ahead and just make sure it's smooth and tight to the wig cap. And I'm just going to take the back of my tweezers and just smooth it down. So that way I have made sure that all of the tape is stuck down. Now you're probably wondering, is this really going to hold? Is the stocking cap really going to stick? Trust me, super tape is super tape, okay? It really does hold. And if you use the top guard or any type of skin barrier, it will definitely hold for a longer period of time. When I use just the tape only, my wig will sit on my head probably for like a few days. I want to say three at most depending on the weather, but three at most. If I don't use the top guard, then it doesn't really last as long. So definitely check out Top Guard. I'm not really sure you can get it at. You can check Amazon. I have seen it on there, but I've had that bottle since 2010 and it really does work well. Like I said, you just allow it to sit on your head for like a minute and just allow it to dry two minutes and you know what I'm saying? Then you can go ahead and apply your wig cap. So now it's time to remove the tapes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off each strip or each backing of the strip with my tweezers. The tweezers just makes it so easy, especially if you don't have any nails, but it also makes it easy so you don't have to touch it. So just take your tweezers and lift one side up at a time very slowly. And like I said, you can get super tape in all lengths and widths. Um, I used to get it really long, but this is what I had left. I do um, like the thin strips as well, but if I'm just going to do only the tape method, I do need them to be a little bit wider wider so that way it can grip onto the wig cap along with my hairline. So now it is time to place the wig down. You want to make sure there's no hairs so that way it doesn't stick onto the lace and you just want to go ahead and press firmly into your wig. Try not to touch the tape because it is very sticky and you don't want to get any type of dirt or debris on it. So as you guys see, the tape does have a little sheen to it, but you can always camouflage that with a little bit of your pressed powder. Also with the baby hairs, once you, you know, situate your wig and such, you're good to go. So I'm gonna take the back of my comb, my rat tail comb, and I'm just going to press firmly into the tape and the wig with the wig. And like I said, you don't need to, um, see how strong it is, it's super strong. Don't, um, you don't have to worry about the sheen. The sheen will actually dull down after a while, but I'm trying to make the wig look as natural as possible. There are different methods that you can take to make your wig look natural, like you can bleach the knots, but this was just a really quick tutorial. This wig is super pretty. It's 24 inches in length. It's Indian Remy hair. I do believe it's Indian Remy. It is a body wave texture. It is 150% density. You layer hair. I was really impressed with this because of the way it's styled and it's also very full. There are some wigs 
that I get that just are not full like that, but it's a really cool wig, really nice wig. Um, the hairline of it was pre-plucked. I just did a little bit extra, but other than that, it came out really nice. I'm going to go ahead and cut some baby hairs into this unit. I don't like a lot of baby hair, so I'm just going to take a little bit out at a time. So that way it can just look as natural as possible, but also just to camouflage the ends of my wig. You don't on my wig cap. If you don't want to wear a wig cap, that's your preference. You don't have to, but for me, it just is a little bit more barrier and protection on my hairline. So just try to find the wig cap that suits your complexion best or your scalp best. So as you guys can see, I'm going to use my Herbal Essence Styling Mousse and I'm just going to brush some of those baby hairs down in place. I don't want to use a lot of gel because, you know, gel just gets it really tacky. So one of my favorite hair gels is the Gorilla Snot Gel and I do like the bottle that is yellow. It just works best. And I'm just going to sweep some of those hairs back and into the wig so that way it doesn't look as, you know, baby haired up as, as, it, as it shouldn't. Less is more like they say. I don't like a lot of baby hairs. But I will tell you something. This wig is definitely on fleek. It was super easy to pull off. It's straight out the package. I didn't even get the chance to wash the unit. I just styled it to my best ability. And as you guys can see, that is some really, really strong tape. There are loads of different brands of super tape out there, but my preference is, um, well not super tape, there's loads of different brands of wig tape. But my preference is super tape. If you guys have seen in my latest video, I did show you guys a huge bag of wig tape. Um, I just prefer super tape because I have tried so many different brands back in 2010 and 11 on my old channel when I used to do tutorials of how to apply your wigs and super tape has always just been really good. So I'm going to move my part up a little bit on this unit and I'm going to take my styling mousse and I'm just going to place it right here on the part line so that way I can get it ready. As I stated, Euler hair, they do have some really nice units. They also do sell bundle hair so make sure you check them out. I'll post all of their info below for you guys. And as you guys see here, I'm going to just take my barrel and flatten the hair. And I'm also going to put a little bit more curls into this. I did curl this unit last night prior to this video so that way I could save some time. And I just did the same thing as you guys see right here. Now, I normally I don't wear 24 inch hairs, but babies, let me tell you. Okay, hunties. When I left the house after wearing this unit, I went to my local grocery store. Please tell me why I was getting so many compliments on my hair. And I'm not sure if it's because the hair was really, really pretty or it's because of the way I laid down this frontal. Yes, hunties, if you want your wigs to stay down for a couple of days, you can definitely use the tape method. There's also the glue method, which I did show you guys a few days ago by using the Aquabond wig adhesive glue. I will show you guys in the next few days how to apply it with the got to be gel which I'm not really a huge fan of because it does get really messy but for this unit here it is a lace frontal it does come with three combs in the front a comb and adjustable strap in the nape area along with that you do get a really cute box a wig net and of course your wig. So you guys, let me know what you think of Euler Hair. I hope I'm pronouncing their name properly. They do have like some bomb ass hair. And look at the length. The length is very pretty and full. And as for it being 150% density, this is a really, really nice full unit. There are loads of different ways that you can get your units that are 150% or less to look much fuller than what they are. But for this one right here, I do like it a lot. It just is really full. It's really pretty. The hairline is nice as you guys can see and as you guys see I did finagle the hairline so that way you don't see the wig this wig is not going anywhere now if you do want to remove the tape I would highly suggest getting yourself some um, baby oil and water and just putting it in a bottle and just spritzing it on the edges there are different products that you can use to remove the lace but it just still ends up being oil residue or oil product in it so yes you guys i hope you enjoyed this check out all of the provided links below i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know what you think and i'll see you guys on the other side bye